So when somebody challenges my belief systems, when somebody challenges my belief systems, how would I react if I feel secure about them? I wouldn't be angry, would I? I'd go, okay, no worries. You want to believe that, that's fine. I'm, I'm still going to love you whether you want me to believe that or not. You'd be secure in your belief systems enough to not justify attacking the other person because they have a different belief system. Can you see that? So you see a lot of times when, when evil actions are taken on the planet, particularly in justification of religious reasons or political reasons, it's because that each person is not really very secure of their own system of their own system. And whenever their own system is challenged, they automatically feel rage. And the reason why they feel rage is because underneath that, they're actually not feeling very secure about their own belief system. Now, if I love myself, I will have security in my own belief systems. I'm not saying, and what I've written here is, if I am not secure, I am relaxed if I have to change my belief systems. So, so rather than feeling uptight and angry with everyone else who does not have the same belief system as me, I am relaxed that I might have to change my belief system at some point in the future. And what I've said here is I never feel the need to force others to believe what I believe, since I know that eventually either I or they will have to change their belief to become more loving. Right? <laughs> also, I realise that it's impossible to force a belief upon an unwilling person. Each person must exercise their own will to change their beliefs. Do you understand? So in all the discussions I'm giving, I'm trying to remind you that you have the right to hold on to your beliefs. Right? But you don't have the right to force them down somebody else's throat. That's an unloving action. <laughs> Do you understand? Now many people who learn the divine love path start forcing down the belief on their partners. Do you understand? They start trying to force the partner to have the same belief. That is an unloving action. That is actually evil, as in order to our previous definition. Right? Of course you're not going to get a very good response. Yeah? So when we're secure in our own belief systems, we feel this sense of confidence, not that we have the right belief, but that we can easily change our beliefs if we're shown to be wrong at some point in the future. We don't feel any need to attack another person because of their beliefs. We don't need, feel the need to change them, to force them into doing something different. Does that make sense to everyone? So, so loving yourself, you will be secure in your own belief systems. Right? And if you're not secure, you won't feel challenged by the insecurity, you'll be relaxed about it. You go, yeah, no worries. I don't know. <laughs> often, because I say I'm Jesus, often people in the media come to me and they say, does that mean you know everything? And I go, no, I don't know everything. Now, they, their belief is that Jesus should know everything. Right? And they're okay, with, I'm okay with them having that belief. It's just not true. I'm Jesus and I know I don't know everything. <laughs> right? So, so they have this belief system that they're trying to force upon me. And they're really saying to me, I am not Jesus because I don't know everything. And I go, well, that's pretty logical. If I knew everything, I'd be oh, God and know. not Jesus. <laughs> right? I wouldn't be a work in progress. I'd be complete, complete. Not only that, if I knew everything, I'd definitely be God by that stage. I'd actually be God, not, not just a man. So, so when you're secure in your belief systems, you are not, you don't feel challenged to admit that you don't know. It's a, it's a joy to admit you don't know. Right? Because it, it, then somebody might be able to share something with you that you might come to know after that. But if you feel challenged every time you don't know, then you're going to react quite angrily to any challenge right? of your belief systems. Now, can you see security in your own beliefs? Most people on the planet don't have it. Because you just say something to them that's different to their own beliefs, and what's the first reaction? Anger. 
So they don't, they're not secure in their beliefs. Right? How many little children, like three-year-olds, go, Mummy, Daddy, does God exist? Amazing question, man. Most parents have no idea whether God exists. Right? They don't have any personal proof in their own life, many of them feel that they... But they have a belief system. So often what the parent will say, if they're in a Christian there, they go, of course God believes. God, God exists. Right? It would be far more powerful for them to say, I don't know, I think God exists, but I'm not sure. I've never had any personal experience of God, so I just hope God exists, <laughs> but I still don't know whether God actually exists. Now, a person who's secure in their own belief systems would say that, if that's what they felt. Right? And if somebody says to, if, if they were secure in their belief in God, they would say, yes, I know for certain God exists, and they'd be able to explain why they know for certain God exists. But then if somebody challenges them, they wouldn't get upset. And if somebody, like an atheist, come along and said, you're an idiot for thinking that God exists. No worries. I understand why you think that way. Uh, coming from the background that you do and so forth, I can see why you might feel that way too. But that's not what I believe. There would be no anger in response. There would be definitely no reason to resort to violence in response. Because... In their childhood, there would be different responses in their parents to them having a cavity. Does that make sense? And in Mary's case, 